Hello guys, and welcome back to another video by Mr. Seven Games. And today I will be showing you how to make a nuclear bomb in Minecraft 1.8 and above that causes insane damage and even gives player and entity effects to any entity in a certain range of the blast explosion. So, let's get into the video. Okay guys, to kick off the video, I want to first show you guys how the redstone works. So, to initially spawn the actual explosion, it's going to test for an entity in the world named Nuke, which in my inventory is this, uh, are these mushroom spawn eggs renamed to Nuke. Then, once it finds that, through this clock that constantly activates this, once it finds that, then it'll activate this command, which summons an armor stand at the entity named Nuke that will be invisible hopefully and it'll have a custom name of poison uh, that can be changed to whatever you want just make sure that in the other commands I'm going to show you uh, I'll tell you which ones need to also be having the same name uh, it'll have no gravity well it'll have gravity and uh, yeah then once that command activates it'll activate this command which actually is the explosion It'll execute at an entity named Nuke, also the Mushroom or whatever Nuke you're using. Uh, it'll summon a fireball with a direction facing downwards and that in the uh, X or yeah axis, uh, and it'll have a negative one on it, which means it'll be going downwards. And then uh, its explosion power for me is going to be set to 200. Uh, this can be set to whatever you want. Obviously, the lower the number, the lower the explosion. I just find 200 is a good number for uh, all the no other numbers that I'm going to be using uh, in the commands that gives the effects. But um, anything over also does cause more lag, just, for, uh, just so you're noted. Uh, this command right here actually gives the poison effect when you're near it. What happens is it'll execute at an entity which name is Poison, and that's the armor stand, you have to remember. So whatever your armor stand is named, this command block, this command block over here, and then uh, th this command block under that other one where my mouse are, have to have Poison or whatever your uh, armor stand is named to. Uh, and this right here executes the command at that armor stand, giving anyone, any entity, so any entity, uh, within a range of 85 blocks, it will give them poison, which is the 19, and then for 10 seconds. Then this one over here gives the nausea, which its ID is ten, um, 9, and it gives it for 10 seconds as well. And this will affect anyone within the range of 20 seconds. And again, it's at that, it's executing it at that poison entity. This one does the exact same thing, like all of them, but this one activates when you're in 135 blocks within the range of the initial explosion gives it again for 10 seconds the ID for hunger is 17 and also it also it gives it to anyone within the poison entity words um, so that's all the redstone basically there's just a clock right here this is set, set to the longest delay um, all the way back otherwise if it's uh, one then the clock will freeze up and I don't want it to be too fast causing lag or giving the mushroom time to or whatever entity you're using to settle. Um, so now I want to show you the actual nuke in action so let's go ahead and uh, teleport us uh, 10,000 blocks in one direction and uh, get our nuke ready start flying so that way we don't land in the ground. Okay so now that the world is generated, there's a nice little well over here. Oh, temple. Let's blow up the well, because wells are smaller. Um, let's set it right here, and you'll see that spawns in. It summons the armor stand, and then you'll see all the blocks start breaking, and that's when you know you've messed up. Um, or I guess in this case, you wouldn't have messed up, because you wanted a nuke. Uh, the sand... 
in the sand, it's kind of cool because uh, normally all of these would be underground, but the sand falls. Oh, crap. That's right. Uh, you see, the armor sand, I didn't make it invisible, so that way you could actually see it. Uh, it did give me the nausea uh, when I was near it. You see that one away. And uh, these will start keep spreading uh, as your chunks start loading more. And you can see how large of an area of effect this has. And uh, all the way out here, we're still getting the hunger. And as we go in, you'll see that the uh, poison starts to come back. Uh, see if we can... Yeah, the poison comes back around here. And then, once you have to start trying to get in here more, then it gives nausea. And I think that this would be really cool if you could make, like, some sort of armor or something using command blocks, like a biohazard suit that would maybe uh, make some of these effects less, or uh, certain tools that you could destroy the actual radiation poison entity right there, so that way this could be a stable spot again, and then maybe have it have uh, zombies and stuff being constantly spawned in here. But uh, note that the poison, uh, as long as you're on easy or medium and stuff, will only get you down to half a heart, and also if you do add the uh, uh, zombies and stuff, that will be pretty bad, because you'll always uh, be at a half a heart to be able to have to defeat them, and also get rid of that. So I think this would be really cool, and there is a bunch of stuff that you can still add to it, uh, if you have any suggestions or comments on future videos, what I can make and stuff, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to try and uh, work them out and create them. Uh, anyways, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe if you are new. Goodbye.